Hi everyone, my name is Bokan Tiyani and if it's your first time here on my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you can get a notification every time I post a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know what it is. Awesome stuff. What to do? What's up? What's up? What's up? So today on the channel, um, it's a pretty chill video, I guess. I don't know, um, but I've been doing quite a few chill videos nowadays. I don't know why. But anyways, what I did was I asked people on the socials, that being WhatsApp and Instagram, to ask me some questions. Ask any questions. I didn't really give a topic, just any question. And yeah. They ask me questions and I'm gonna answer them. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, let's get into it. So the first question is what inspired your love for dance and what other creative fields are you in, if any? Cool. Um so what inspired my love for dance really it started um like when I was seven years old in grade one and my older sister used to dance. If you guys don't know my older sister, well, here's a picture of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's big sis. That's big sis. Yeah, yeah. So she used to dance, and basically in the school we're in the the primary school we're in, she she used to dance at the studio that was happening there at the school. And then I wanted to be in that studio because also quite a couple of my friends started to join that year. And then my mom kept saying, no, next year, next year. And I remember the whole year last year, yeah, last year, last, the whole year that year I was nagging my mom, get no, me. Me, yeah, I wanna be a dancer, me, yeah, I wanna be a dancer. You know, and it was pretty like a, um, if I can say, a big thing at the time because almost everybody was dancing. So then it didn't happen that year, no matter how much I nagged her. And then I remember that at the end of year show, uh, just seeing a lot of people dance seeing in that studio you know like big people you know like all these amazing dancers like in that studio right who were they and then i was like even me even me i want to be there even me and really at that moment for me i was like yo you no know, dancing is the thing like that was like basically the catalyst of everything when my sister danced and that show was when i made the decision that yo dance was the thing and yeah and then if there's any creative fields that i'm into besides dancing um yes they are um i love to um i love to write poetry yeah i love poetry as you've seen um i've been writing quite a bit you guys know a few of my poems if you watch them if you haven't you can go watch them no stress um but yeah i love to to write poetry i love to write in general um I'm learning guitar, I'm learning guitar, so that's the thing. I don't know why, I just haven't done any covers on the channel, not yet anyway. We'll see in the future, but yeah, I'm learning guitar, and what else? Oh, I love to act, oh, acting, beautiful. It's a beaut, it's a beaut. Yeah, as you know, I'm gonna be in Bad and Water season two, right? Huh? Psst. Psst. <laughs> Love, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it, and then yeah, I, like, I mean, also like with the editing and stuff here on YouTube, I like that too, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so I'd say it's poetry, acting, music, and editing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Besides dance, of course. So the second question is, what do you love the most about yourself? What do I love the most about myself? I don't know, that's a hard question to answer. What do I love about myself? But I'd say the thing then, to answer your question, what I love most about myself would be um, my willingness to learn. Um, I'm really willing to learn from anyone and everyone. So yeah, like I think that's one thing I'm quite keen. I'm, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to learn. That's what I love most about myself. Hope that answers your question. 
Question number three is if you had to change anything about yourself, what would it be? If I had to change anything about myself, what would it be? Currently nothing, honestly. Um, I don't think I'd change anything really. Um, because um, with where I'm at in my life, I'm really quite content with where I'm at and with what I've experienced as well. I don't think um, I would have had those experiences, whether good or bad, if I had changed certain things, right? Um, yeah, so I don't think I would change anything, right? Yeah, I don't think I'll change anything. True story. Next question. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Why so hectic, Oaks? <laughs> in the next five years? How old will that be? 19... Level 24, right? Yeah, next. Yo! That's gang. That's gang. But let's talk about it. Where, where, where do I see myself in the next five years? I don't know. Um... I, I honestly I see myself acting I see myself doing guitar covers I see myself having published a book or two a poetry book or two and I see myself having started a business for what in what I don't know but yeah honestly like that's where I'd like to see myself will it happen we have to wait and see you know what I'm saying but honestly like you know what it is, that's where your boy sees himself in the next five years. And then who knows, maybe I'll have a ring here. <laughs> the next question is, since you're doing IP this year, what's the plan for the next year? Great. So yeah, this year, as if you don't know, I did um, matric last year. Your boy got his matric certificate, you know what it is. So I didn't go to school this year. I kind of, um, I'm doing this program at church gap year right but um, it's basically a program in church where you basically give your year to God and you basically work at the church and then there's like classes and all that nice stuff that happens throughout the church but yeah uh, so that's what I'm doing this year you know what it is serving God you know what I mean you know what it is so yeah since I'm doing IP um, in pursuit you know what i'm saying this year um next year um when the plan is to study <laughs> you know what it is um yeah, the plan is to study there's not like any extra stuff um per se so like yeah, the plan is to study just to study once now that's the tea i mean obviously i'd like to study acting and hopefully that takes place but then we'll have to wait and see but yeah it's a trap <laughs> When and how did you know that dancing was your thing? Um, I think this goes with the first question. Yeah, that concert, that India show my sister had when she was dancing. That was the time I decided that dancing was my thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then, next question. Where's the missus? What you talking about? 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 There's no missus here, so. <laughs> Ah, lol. Yeah, 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 there's no missus, guys. <laughs> ah, lol. Woo. Wow, that is, that is, that's funny. We sub a well, but... <laughs> no, no, not, not at the moment, anyway, you know. Yeah, we'll see in the future. But right now, da la la. Da la la. Da la la. We choose. If you had to choose one job, and you have to do it forever, what would it be? One job. One. If I had one, get a one. Hmm. One job. As in they pay, man. Is I don't know, that's it. Um, I'd say either acting. <sighs> One job, that's, that's, that's tough. Yeah, I'd say acting. 
hundred percent. I'd say acting. Yeah, if I had one job. As in span, as in get paid end of the month, but it's salary, it's an, you know, e wallet. E -wallet. E -wallet. Yeah, definitely. Acting, acting. Have you ever been in love? Huh? <laughs> Are you mocking us? This is funny, man. Nah? This question. So, have you been in love? Have you been in love? No, not really. Cause. I haven't really like jaw. I mean, I don't know if I can count. If I could count like my primary school, like relationships. But I like you. Do you like me too? Let's date. You are my girlfriend. You know, if I can count those kind of relationships, I, I'd say yes. True story, fact, real man. <laughs> but um, because I, I yeah. But if you don't count that, then I'd say no. Because I mean, I haven't dated since primary school. Right? Who is your best friend? Muchacho, BFF. Yo. Jesus is my best friend, guys. True story. <laughs> True story, you know, cap. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I have a lot of, not a lot, but I have a, like, a, quite a. Quite a few close friends, close friends, but I wouldn't say I have a best friend, like that one, you know, nah, nah. like I have, a, I have a group of like close friends, like yeah. And then the next question is, who are your closest friends? Sure, it's quite a bit of a list, yeah. It's quite a bit of a list, and I don't know, like I would say the list, but I mean like. Y'all don't even know half the people I might just mention, so maybe quite a few, but I, so sorry. <laughs> um, when do you plan on getting married? Eh? Tough chat. Um, when would I like to get married? I would say, but my 24, 25, so you know. You know what I'm saying? So like, honestly, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> but we don't have a person, you know. We don't have that. So I don't know, guys. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, if I had to decide, I'd say Boma 24-25. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thoughts of the current GBV and Black Lives Matter. Ooh. Touchy, that just got deep. Um, I would say it's a lot. Um, yeah, it's a lot. I could say a lot, right? I, I, I genuinely not prefer to say anything, but you know. But for me, the biggest chat for me is um, oh, how do I say this, guys? Yeah, I think, man, people just need to just do their bit every day, right? Just with the people you speak with, with the conversations you have, with how we treat one another, we just need to make sure that we're doing um, the right thing by that. You hear what I'm saying? So, I mean, there's so much I could say, but eh, so many people are on this topic on social media and everything sharing their opinions and whatnot, which is fine, but, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to what are we doing every day, right? Because there's going to be other movements, right? They might, this movement might be a thing again in a few months' time or whatever, right? So for me, my biggest thing to every single person watching this video, do your part every day to make sure that you are... Um, if I can say, how can I say this? Yeah, just make sure that you're doing your part every day, right? Watch the conversations you have, watch how you treat women, watch how you treat the people around you and all that. So that's my two cents. So that's my chat on the current GBV and Black Lives Matter movement. Make sure that you're doing your part, watch the conversations you have and just treat people with love, right? Treat people with love. That's my biggest advice as a person and as a child of God is really, guys, is just treat each other with love. It's really not that hard. 
that's my chat cool but the next question is what does love what does love mean to you romantically wow love oh guys i'm such a church egg so <laughs> so my answer is gonna sound a bit spiritual christian i guess so yeah love is laying your life down guys you know what i'm saying so it's like really like romantically it's obviously how can i say this <sighs> guys i'm so bad at explaining myself it's terrible um So when you're going into a relationship, think of it like this. It's about what can I give the other person, not what can I get out of it. You heard? So that's a way to look look at it. Um, yeah. Like romantically, like what can I give this person? This person, you see? That's how we look at it. Not what can I get out of it. So that's my chat. Cool. What happened in your last relationship? Um, haven't had one. So unless you went my last primary school relationship, hashtag story time. <laughs> yeah, because I haven't had um, a relationship. Like in high school, like I've you know liked a few people. You know what I'm saying? I've spoken to a few people, but like. Never really had a relationship with anybody in high school. That's the chat. <laughs> and yeah, so if you had my primary school um, story, basically what happened is that like, we were jawling, you know what I'm saying? It was grade seven, you know, your boy was just a born again Christian, you know what I'm saying? And I remember, I spoke to my leader at the time. I was like, yo, leader, you know, I'm gonna take this girl, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, she's the one, she's the one. 13 year old naive Bukan was like, yeah, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do this thing. And then, long story short, we dated for a month and then we broke up. Next question <laughs> What is the weirdest thing you've ever done? The weirdest thing I've ever done. What is the weirdest thing I've ever done? What is the weirdest thing I've ever done? I don't know, I do a lot of weird things, really, honestly. So... What's your biggest achievement? That's the next question, what's your biggest achievement? I don't know, um, I think I've achieved like quite a bit in my life. Um, I don't know. I think everything I've done is my biggest achievement. <laughs> Honestly, everything I've done. But why? I think a couple of things that um, for me that mean a lot is being world champion as a solo dancer, as a duo dancer, and in a group setting. Having been world champion like that, beautiful. Um, having had the opportunity to be an extra as a dancer in the movie Blended, beautiful, I think that was amazing. And starting my YouTube channel, yeah. And then obviously, last but not least, I'd say uh, serving at church as well, for me, is like one of the biggest achievements in my life. So those are the four things I've narrowed it down to, you know what I'm saying? Being world champ, being in a Hollywood movie. <laughs> what else did I say? Serving at church and starting my YouTube channel. You know what it is. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching that. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a bit more about me. Um, I mean, it was a bit weird, no cap. <laughs> um, I gotta really suck at explaining myself, but I'm gonna try to do better, of course. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I started this channel. So, we're working on it, we're working on it. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Click that like button if you haven't liked already. Click that, yo. Click 
click that subscribe button if you haven't clicked already and let's chat down in the comment section if there's a question that i didn't answer properly and like bukai didn't answer that question and then just hit me up in the comment section and then we can chat you know what i'm saying but otherwise much love see you in the next one peace